We've got images from a portrait session imported into the photo organization software. We'll need to figure out which are the best images to deliver, which are the worst, so we don't have to waste our time with those ones again. In a one hour session, I'll have created between one and 200 photographs. In there will be between 10 and 20 final images. There'll be a large number of second tier images, ones that are acceptable but would water down the best if they were delivered. And a certain number of rejects where I'm testing lights or there's blinking eyes or imperfect focus and so on. Our job now is to determine which category each image belongs to as time efficiently as possible. Our goal is to make a note of the best images, trash the worst, and make sure the images are stored in a way that I can filter for them easily in the future. This task needs a heavy handed approach. I'm using Lightroom, but this can be any software which can flag, tag, and star your images. I give a one star to images I like by pressing one in the loop view. And if I need to spend a minute flipping back and forth between two similar images, it means they're close enough and either image is probably fine. With experience, you can pick out the subtly better images quite quickly anyway. And it's not like you're gonna delete the unstarred ones. What we are deleting are the obvious rejects. Blinking eyes, flash misfires, test shots, and almost exact duplicates. An image is either acceptable or it isn't. Use the X shortcut key to flag out rejects. Why delete them? Well, firstly, I can't stand the phrase, Storage is cheap. It's cheap until you need to buy a high capacity NVMe drive and then it's no longer cheap. Secondly, and more importantly, there's a time penalty for keeping trash images alongside the acceptable ones. You've got to scroll through them and be distracted by them. I like to keep things tidy. In the attribute filter at the top of the screen, click on the reject flag to show only the rejects. Control A to select all and press delete. If you're not into deleting things, you can click remove so they're only excluded from the Lightroom catalog, but not deleted from the computer. But I'm a delete from disk kind of guy. Uncheck the flag and return to the remaining images. At the end of the selection, I might have a second pass if I don't have enough or if I've got too many one star images. These are the images that will be delivered to the sitter. And I don't limit myself to the bare minimum. If they're good, they'll be delivered. To summarize, one star for good pictures, reject flag for rejects, everything else is second tier, which is useful for the future when your tastes or requirements may change, or as material for compositing other images. We'll use the one star filter to work with only our best images, and we'll get them into deliverable quality using global and batch edits.